We go live now to our studios at the Nigerian Stock Exchange in downtown Lagos, where Edward Kahlo, who is the UN Chief for Nigeria Representative Office, is joining us for this very important conversation. Edward, it's good to see you. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning, and thanks for having me around today. We appreciate your time. It's a very big day as far as this is concerned. The launch of this UN Nigeria Humanitarian Fund uh, private sector initiative. Uh, I'm going to go straight to hit the, 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 the button. How much money? What are you looking for with the private sector? Is it just cash? Is it technical assistance or collaboration? What exactly do you want the private sector to do for the UN for Nigeria? We are asking for an innovative strategic partnerships that includes, of course, some funding, technical support, but at the center of it is that entrepreneurial drive that we add value to the engagement of the United Nations in Nigeria to respond to the humanitarian crisis in Northeast Nigeria. This is the first of such initiative uh in the world for humanitarian action. Now, you're talking about some of the biggest names in the country. Jim Ovia, the uh, head, the chairman of one of Nigeria's, the group managing, uh, the pioneer group managing director and chief executive of Zenith Bank. You're talking about Wali Tinubu, uh, the uh, founding group CEO of uh, Owando, Nigeria. You're talking about some of the largest uh, companies in Nigeria and the biggest names in, in the business sector coming through here. Why do you think these folks are important as part of the pioneering group for this initiative? We are working with these big houses to create a unique blueprint. And this unique blue, blueprint will be very strategic in humanitarian action in Nigeria. We are talking about trying to work to create national leadership and ownership for humanitarian action. And these big houses, especially financial houses you have just outlined, are critical. And this partnership is critical to ensure that we are able to provide the basic needs of the affected population in Northeast Nigeria. Some of these private sector giants you have just outlined here are already doing a lot, are already doing a lot. But this is a platform that we bring in measurability. It's a platform that we also um, uh, in, work on accountability, and it's a platform that we also demonstrate results and accounts for results. So we are talking about creating a platform that will meet the needs of the investors and also provide basic humanitarian needs for the affected population and contribute in rebuilding their lives and livelihoods. Uh, we will continue this conversation with you, Edward, after the break. But just before the break, for one minute, we have raised about $70 million from 17 donor countries around the world since this Nigeria Humanitarian Fund became operational in May last year. Uh, where are we as far as these donor countries are concerned in 2018? Um, in 2018, uh, we, we are requesting slightly above a billion dollars to provide humanitarian assistance to, to 6.1 million people in Northeast Nigeria at the epicenters of the crisis. That is Bono, Yobe, and Adamawa. The Nigerian Humanitarian Fund has raised $70 million, which has been very catalytic in enabling the humanitarian actors on the ground to respond to immediate needs based on information on the ground and based on a better and more coordinated effort among them to ensure that um, assistance are provided on a timely basis to the affected population. We are expecting the private sector to partner with us, not only for money, but we are talking about partnership of minds. We're talking about partnership for collective action. And behind that is the strong power of collaboration. And that is where we are today. And that is why I'm excited that this partnership and this platform is being created and launched today.
The United Nations Humanitarian Fund for Nigeria is today launching a major program which is bringing the private sector, the first of its kind, into this multi-million dollar initiative to help resolve problems for more than one million, close to two million people in Nigeria's northeast and north central facing very serious uh, out, uh, uh, a backlash of deadly insurgency over the last couple of years. So we have Zenith Bank, First Bank, Echo Bank uh, in the Kiti, as well as Owando, Templars, as well as Nigeria Economic uh, Summit Group. So these are some of the private sector institutions already having this handshake with UN. So the UN Chief for Nigeria, Edward Callan, is still in our studios at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Thank you very much. We have a few more minutes to wrap this up. So on the side of the Nigerian government, how much support and encouragement have you been receiving in this pushing this from the government side for this strategic handshake with the private sector happening today? Yeah, the government of Nigeria has been very supportive to the work of the United Nations, and they are our partners. Besides being the, the direct partners to the international humanitarian community, they actually lead um, the interventions in Northeast Nigeria. They have been very, very strategic in helping to create an enabling environment for the United Nations to do, the, to do their work in Northeast Nigeria. We are grateful for that partnership. And they have also been investing in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in providing assistance to the affected population. But the needs are high. And that is why we are coming today to join hands with the private sector so that we are able to, to mobilize the resources that are required to support the effort of the government of Nigeria to provide humanitarian assistance to the over 6.1 million people that have been affected by this crisis in Northeast Nigeria and also support them to start rebuilding their lives and livelihoods in safe areas. I was in Bama, which is 70 kilometers away from uh, Miyadogori in October. I was, I was appalled with the level of human suffering. I was confronted with 5,200 people, new arrivals, from enclaves that were being controlled by the non-state armed groups. Children, women, we are sleeping on the trees with no shelter. This is where the Nigerian Humanitarian Fund comes in to provide those basic life-saving needs that are required for people at this difficult and challenging time. I, I was also delighted to see a sign of hope from a woman by the name of Halima. Halima lost the family as everybody was fleeing away from the attack by non-state armed groups. But they were able to reunite at Bama in one of these um, cramped camps where they, where they finally were able to get some safe haven. I saw a smile and a sign of hope when Halima was able to reunite with her family. Mr. This Callum, is humanity, and this is what humanitarian action is all about. Yes, Mr. Callan, a final question and a very concern here about news and news of corrupt practices in, from those who are in government and some private sector people involved in this humanitarian fund, those who are support, supposed to cook, provide food and, and shelter for these uh, uh, folks who are caught in the, uh, in the crossfire, as it were, between Nigerian forces making things good and these non-state actors, but they have been deprived, money's missing, uh, products that are distributed from humanitarian folks around the world are getting stolen. Uh, is the UN worried about this state of malpractices, even within the specter of humanitarian uh, needs that we need to take very quick action upon? We are very concerned with the high fiduciary risk that is involved in, uh, in providing humanitarian assistance. But our presence in the field, that's, I mean here, the presence of humanitarian actors, including United Nations, government of Nigeria, international non-governmental organizations, and uh, national um, uh, um, governmental organizations, or non-governmental organizations, et cetera, are creating the critical mass that is required to monitor the, the contributions by, inter, by the international committee, community to respond to the crisis. We are very close to the, to the problems, and the, our monitoring capacities have given us the opportunity to be able to follow closely the humanitarian assistance that is being provided. Definitely, there are bad apples in the, midst, uh, in the basket of, uh, of, 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 of apples, 
But our position is very clear. Um, uh, misappropriation is not tolerated. And whenever we have um, uh, information on this, necessary strict actions are taken immediately. Thank you very much, uh, Edward Carlo, the UN chief for Nigeria. We thank you very much and congratulations on this very important uh, government private sector initiative for Nigeria Humanitarian Fund. Wish you all the best. You have a great day.